March the 2021. My name is Thomas Wigan, and I would like to talk to for all adults that are passive aggressive, or or passive aggression, not to adults. Adults, passive aggression is unexcusable and unacceptable, and kids slash adults, old son or daughters can say, hey, I feel. We feel that uh, if you're interrogating in your kids, as uh, if you're being passive aggressive, that's also hostility. Sons or daughters, setting an alternative for, for, for passive of aggression, passive parents. Hence, for example, that with passive aggressive family members. Because uh, this is very, this is very important if you want to, to help stand up for yourself. Number one, understand the situation. Okay, why? Understand this. Why is the passive aggression, aggression being, being in play? Understand the reason. There's a variety of reasons, like laziness. This disrespect, act or, or just how, how disciplining in your kid, or how punishment is working out. Now, there's a variety of reasons why, but that is not an excuse to be passive aggressive. Number two, understand your emotions. And you know something. This is part of the third grade talk. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with how you're feeling towards another person. And for example, like if someone's being passive aggressive towards you, understand your emotions and be honest with yourself. Of you're not being interrogated. And but to sons and daughters, if you're being passive aggressive and they feel like you're interrogating them, that's understandable too. Because that's hostility and it's unacceptable and unexcusable. Number three, use past experiences to hold, hold the passive aggressive parent, people, remember the passive aggressive audience around you responsible. So, if you have a passive aggressive parent, use past experiences as uh, for, for an example, or to hold them accountable. If they don't like to be held accountable, that's too bad. Cause, because uh, moms, winners like get held accountable. Losers don't like to be held accountable. So, if you wanna be a winner, I suggest you that to your son, people help hold you accountable, hold, and that you hold yourself accountable. Number four, set an appropriate consequence and a deadline. I mean, for example, February eighth, two thousand twenty-one is the appropriate deadline. I mean, an example, if the past. If your anger is not controlled by February 8th, if you, you're moving in with, uh, with the mom or dad, and so like, like yes, as for example, you always want to set an alternative. If you want to explain the issue towards, towards their mom or dad, and for example, do not ever think it's an excuse to be passive aggressive because I that is not an excuse to not be passive aggressive. If it's disrespectful and it's being hostile, that is not okay. Period. Or kids, for example. Or another appropriate consequence is this. If you do not get your anger to the parents that are passive aggressive or to the parent, 
And this would be a good alternative. If you do not get your anger controlled by February 8th, 2021, I will not visit you. Oh, because of for those past experiences. Here's, a, here's an example. 6-13-2020 as an example. Passive aggression. And because passive aggression is unacceptable, hostile, and disrespectful. Oh, so. Oh, unless you... So, here's the moral of the story. Or the general idea. Never... Pick your battles, but do it carefully. If you're not careful with picking your battles, you are, it's going to be very hard for you to win. And so, I, so if you want to set an alternative, like a boss, also carefully plan and you carefully, I mean, very carefully handle and plan your her ideas of what what the issue is going to be like if you're going to set an alternative. And yes, a deadline will be in, should be included too. Like an example of a date. Like February 8th, that's an example of a date. October 10th, that's an example of a date. Eight, March 5th, another example. So yes, you want to give a deadline. Right. But here are the two words that connect the moral of the story or the general idea tough love tough love when there's there's a, no tough love and will all these tough love to stand up for themselves winners like to use tough love and like tough love winners like that losers don't like tough love of it. it doesn't matter at all. An alternative is having some clear boundaries. Is uh, teaching you to draw the line. And so, oh, moms, dads, had to. I suggest. So, the moral of the story is to pick your battles responsibly and carefully. And two, tough love. Uh, so, oh, thank you. Who, ladies and gentlemen, please like, rate, comment, share, subscribe.